In this video, I'm going to show you the first meta blitz of Madden 23. I'm going to also show you how to counter it in this video so that you won't get sacked every single play. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody. I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And we release videos like this every single day, trying to help people become better Madden players. If you want to get better at Madden, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe. All right, guys, so there's a blitz that is floating around the competitive community. Really, really good blitz. I believe that Clef actually posted this at the beginning of the Madden season. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I did also, I, this is also a concept that I was running um, last year out of the Nickel 335 Normal that I wanted to break down for you guys real quick because it is, I believe, one of the best base pressures in the game, but it really is just a concept that we have broken down several times here on the channel before, and it's just really effective out of Nickel 335 Normal or just Nickel 33. Um, as it's labeled in the game here. This is out of the 46 playbook. We're going to be using the play LB Blitz Zero. And again, I'm going to show you how to pick up this concept, but first and foremost, I want to show you the problem. And the problem is basically this. The loop blitz is here to stay. Um, it's something that was really good in Madden 22, but it's also something that has made its return in Madden 23. Now, really quick, if you want to learn how to blitz out of every single formation in Madden 23, make sure you join our Patreon. I've got a whole blitz ebook over there that literally breaks down formation by formation how to specifically blitz out of that specific formation formation all throughout the game every defense in the game completely broken down from a blitzing perspective how you can uh, get pressure out of every defense in this game if you want to get that ebook the link is in the description patreon members get access to everything and that ebook updates all year long for you guys so you always have the best blitzes in the game Okay, so the way that this defense works is basically fairly sim uh, simple. Uh, all we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our linebackers and we're going to QB contain. And as you can see here, that's going to put these guys in these loop contain rush angles. And we're going to stand about right here and you're going to see that this thing is just absolutely going to go crazy. It's going to scream every single time. It's very difficult to pick up this blitz in this year's game. So literally just contain um, and then pinch your, uh, pinch your um, or sorry, pinch your linebackers, not your D line. Uh, let, me, let me reset that. I messed up my pressure. Uh, but anyways, literally, this is all you do. You literally just pinch your linebackers contain, and you're going to get some looping pressures coming off of the nickel 335 uh, normal formation. So this is a really, really good, um, really, really, really good formation. I love this uh, blitz this year. And if you get down in the grill, you're going to see you're going to get these double loops. Now, I want to talk about how to counter it. But first, I want to talk about the problem. With looping contain pressures, it is very, very difficult to pick these pressures up by blocking a running back. So I'm going to go ahead and block my running back here. And you're going to see... This blitz is going to just continue to dumb the running back out, and we're going to get crazy pressure, really good pressure. Um, and again, you're just containing, pinching your linebackers, and if you want to press coverage, obviously man coverage is really, really good. That makes this really a really good defense. So now I'm going to block my tight end. You're going to see that this is still going to come in off the left side, looping pressure galore, and you can't even get a route open because there's literally no time to get the ball off. That's how good this defense is. And then the last pass protection formula that we're going to show you in this video is to uh, max protect. And as you can see, it doesn't really pick up the pressure. So I wanted to do a video today talking about a very simple solution to a very popular meta that you're going to see in Madden 23. And it's actually why I chose to do my first ebook. Um, my first offensive ebook on the trip side information. We just released that recently um, in our Patreon. Over 50 breakdowns of the trip side information. Um, and it's primarily because of what I'm about to show you from a pass protection perspective. Not only does it have the best routes in the game, not only does it have some of the best running or, uh, plays in the game, but also, in my opinion, has the best pass protection um, in this game. So I'm going to come out and play PA counter go. And what you want to do is you just want to call play action play. And what you're going to see here is if I contain, I'm going to set the defense up exactly the same. And we're just going to ID the corner on the right side of the screen or um, on the trip side. So you can see we're going to ID this corner right here. And it's a little bit tricky to show. So I'm going to put my guy in a zone and pass commit. Uh, but what you'll see with this is if I do this properly, this pressure will get picked up. And I will have time to be able to, to deliver a dot as you can see right there. So again, I'm going to show you the simple setup for picking this pressure up. As you see here, we're going to contain pinch our linebackers. This is basically the way that people are running this. And then we're going to ID the corner on the outside. And then we can set up whatever route combination we want to run as long as we have our running back in play action. Play action packs protection does wonders for this, as you can see right here. Now, that time it did scream, as you can see. Um, it is still really a good blitz. And if you block your tight end, it will kind of like solve everything because um, this is a six-man pressure. 
Um, but I'm just saying that play action by and large really will help this a lot. So if you will play action, you can you know maybe shift this way or whatever. And as you see, this blitz is completely picked up. We're able to get the ball out quick to our quick reads. We know they're going to probably be in man-to-man -man coverage with this defense um, because that's kind of the format uh, of this meta. So again, this is just kind of something I just wanted to put out real quick. Um, I know a lot of people are using this pressure. This is the best way that I know, at least right now, how to counter this is to either slide away um, from the ID side or whatever. But what you see here is this play action can just absolutely pick this pressure up. And then you can go have a one-on-one -on -one over the top, as you can see right there, or you know, just make your reads, whatever you want to do from a route combination perspective. We got plenty of good route combinations in our trips tied in ebook. Uh, but one of the things I just wanted to show you is what really simply put, how do you pick up this blitz? Well, the best way you pick up loop pressures, it doesn't matter if it's from time two three six uh will or if it's from nickel three three five normal. The best way that I know to pick up loop pressures in this game is to ID the corner. And if you want to, a little extra stuff that you can do, you can go ahead and uh, slide protect to the side opposite of the side you ID. So in this example, we're slide protecting, you know, to the left side. And then as you can see here, we're just going to do our basic setup. As you see here, the blitz gets picked up. We have time and um, our tight end's too slow to beat man coverage. But you can see the concept is basically there. So having the ability to beat man-to-man -man coverage, obviously, um, in the trip side end, I really wasn't focusing on the route combinations. I'll show you a, a pretty decent little route combo here for beating man-to-man. -man. Um, but again, just ID the corner on this side. I like to slide backside. And you can see here, by and large, this pressure is pretty much picked up. And now we just got to make a catch with our tight end. So real simple, uh, use a play action play. And ideally, you want the running back to be on the right-hand side of the quarterback because it's going to trigger a faster play action play and better protection. This is one of the best blitzes that I think we've ever seen in day one of Madden. And um, this is how to counter it as uh, simple as you possibly can. Again, just step up. Obviously, you can run the ball in 3-3-5 normal. It's not a great run defense by any means. But this is a really good defense, and this is how to kind of counter it. Again, you want to put routes out there that beat man-to-man. -man. So, you know, maybe you run something like this. Another great little tip for countering uh, this blitz real quick while, I'm, while I want to talk about pass protection. In our ebook, we broke down an entire section on pass protection, um, breaking this down. But another thing that you can do if you are trying to, you know, kind of pick up the pressure, like I said, you can ID the corner and then you can slide protect. But using this motion snap right here, it might not seem like it's going to do a lot. But I will say, I think motion snaps actually kind of tweak the blitz a little bit. And you see here, we can get the ball out quick and, you know, hit our man beaters. So I love how um, the trip side information picks up pressure, at least right now at this stage in the game. It does really good with these loop blitzes. It's the best system that you can have day one for picking it up. If you're not in a play action play, it's very hard to pick up this pressure. But if you're in a play action play, it's a little bit more simple. Um, just literally calling a play action, blocking the running back. And I, you see, I think I went the whole video without blocking the tight end. Like if I block the tight end, and the running back here, this this is a six man blitz, right? Um, so if I block the tight end and the running back, and I've like I said, I got you know all these one on ones, you know, again, we'll just do whatever. I'm not too concerned about the route combination here, um, you know. But again, I'm gonna ID this side, so we do a little slant crosser. Uh, but what you should see here is we're gonna get pretty decent uh, pass pro. Obviously, they got a quick shed. That's kind of because it's in practice mode. But anyways, that's a way that you can pick this up. So I just want to do a quick video, kind of share again. I, I'm not exactly sure uh, where this version is. I'm pretty sure Clef, I saw Clef post something like this. But um, this is a really, really good blitz. But there is counters to it. And so you need to be aware that play action, by and large, it doesn't completely counter it. There's, As you saw, they're still getting disengages and things like that. But it's definitely a great starting point. Obviously, you want to put routes on the field that get open quick. But this is one of the best blitz in the game, day one. But here's how to counter it as well. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get my Trips Tied In ebook or my Blitzing Guide, make sure you join our Patreon. You get all of the ebooks for just 10 bucks by becoming a member today. The link is in the description below.